Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x minus 4 to the power of 4 is equals to 4 to the power of 4 and we solve this problem for the values of x. So you see here this is fourth order equation and here you remember one thing is that we just solve this problem for the real values of x. It means that we find just real roots of this equation. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first uh, we rewrite this equation as we first move the right hand side in the left hand side and it will becomes x minus 4 to the power of 4 minus this is 4 to the power of 4 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now again we rewrite this equation as this is uh, x minus 4 to the power of 4 and we write this 4 as x minus 4 to the power of square and its whole square minus again we write this 4 to the power of 4 as 4 square and its whole square and this is equals to 0. And now here we use the algebraic formula and according to this formula we can uh, write uh, here these terms as in this formula if we have a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b. According to this formula, we write our above equation as first we have a minus b here our a is x minus 4 square minus our b is 4 square into again we have our a is x minus 4 square and plus b is 4 square and this whole equation equals to 0. And now we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write x minus 4 square minus 4 square equals to 0 and the second case is we write x minus 4 square plus 4 square equals to 0. We call this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2. And now we can solve these two equations simultaneously and we easily get the values of x. Uh, so first we have from equation number 1 here we again apply uh, this formula so according to this formula we write this term as uh, first we have x minus 4 and minus 4 into x minus 4 plus 4 is equals to 0. So uh, here uh, we obtain x minus 8 into these are cancelled out by each other and here we get x only and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we divide this into the two cases. The first case is we write x minus 8 equals to 0 and the second case is we write x equals to 0. This is the, our first root of the given equation and from here we get x is equals to 8 and this is the, our second root of the given equation which we get here from equation number 1. And now we move forward from equation number 2 so that in equation number 2 we have first we copy down this equation here it is x minus 4 whole square plus 4 square is equals to 0 and now in the next step here we need to uh, expand this square formula so we write it as a square minus 2 times of a b plus b square and plus this is 4 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step we have this is x square minus this is 2 times of 4 becomes 8x and this 4 square becomes 16 this is also 16 is equals to 0. And now here after some simplifications we get x square minus 8x plus this is 16 plus 16 becomes here 32 is equals to 0. And now here in the next step we get this is the quadratic equation. Uh, so here first we check that is this quadratic equation has real roots or not because we solve this problem for the real values of x only okay. So in order to check this equation has real roots or not we can uh, apply here the discriminant formula for this we write here the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 8 and c equals to 32. And we state the quadratic formula as x is equals to, uh, sorry, this is, we state the quadratic formula and it is denoted by delta. So, delta is equals to b square minus 4 times of ac. So, the behavior of this delta gives us that the given equation has real roots or not. So, further in the next step we have, 
Uh, this is b square so b is minus 8 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 32 and we get here minus 8 square becomes 64 minus 4 times of 32 is equals to 4 2 is 8 and 4 3 is 12 so we get here 128 so 64 minus 128 is equals to minus 64 this shows that our delta is less than 0. This means that uh, this quadratic equation has no real roots. Okay. So, if this quadratic equation has no real roots, uh, so that we just rejected this case. Okay. It has uh, no real roots and we can find uh, or we can just solve this problem for only uh, real roots of this problem. Okay. So, if this has no real roots, uh, so that uh, we will uh, just rejected this case and we have only two real roots of the given equation are x is equals to 0 and x is equals to 8 and now here in the next step uh, we need to verify these roots and we will check that is these roots are satisfied our given question statement or not so for this we uh, copy down our given question statement here it is x minus 4 to the power of 4 equals to 4 to the power of 4. So here uh, we check uh, uh, the above both roots that is uh, is both of these roots satisfied over this equation or not. Now here uh, first we check x equals to 0 in this side and x equals to 8 in this side. So when we put this value here it will be written as uh, 0 minus 4 to the power of 4 is equals to 4 to the power of 4. Here, this is our verification step. So, 0 minus 4 becomes minus 4 to the power of 4 is equals to 4 to the power of 4. So, here we very well know about that when uh, the base is negative and its exponent is in some even number then it will becomes positive so this minus the exponent of minus 4 is plus 4 so that we write these terms as 4 to the power of 4 is equals to 4 to the power of 4 so this shows that the value of x equals to 0 is satisfied over this given question statement and now here in the same pattern we will check the behavior at second root so we put this value here and it will be written as 8 minus 4 to the power of 4 is equals to 4 to the power of 4 and here you see that 8 minus 4 becomes 4 to the power of 4 is equals to 4 to the power of 4. This also shows that the value of x equals to 8 is also satisfied over a given question statement and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.